Okay, NFL, um, week 13, I know I'm a very late on this, in fact it's 30 minutes before the game start today, uh, the Bills already dominated the Patriots, Josh Allen with two touchdowns, uh, just real quick to get that out the way, um, you know, we, 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 got, we got some interesting things going on, you know, um, the Falcons are going to take on the Steelers, in one matchup, you have, you know, a Denver team just get worn down, worn out. They don't know what to do. The Ravens are kind of limping along, yet they're still 7-4. and four. You know, you have the Packers and the Bears. You know, also, uh, Christian Watson's been explosive lately for the Packers, you know. And the Bears, you know, they, they, they have... An offense that can move around, so this one might be a lot closer than I think it will be. You know, you know Lions Jags is going to be interesting. You have you have the Jags, you know, turning things around and stuff like that. And the Lions are also, you know, able to score with you know all the pieces they have, and it's going to be interesting to see what they do. It's going to be a good one, and then you have the Browns and the Texans. Deshaun Watson's coming back apparently today, which is gonna be gonna be you know we don't need to hear about Deshaun Watson today. It's Nick Chubb's show, and they, and they should take care of the Texans easily. The the Browns should. Jets Vikings is gonna be interesting. You know, it's gonna be Mike White against the Vikings defense. Um. They can't prevent big plays as we've seen, you know, in their two losses. You know, the Eagles, the first loss they had, and then the Cowboys, the second loss they had. You know, they couldn't prevent big plays in either of those games. And it's also going to be interesting to see how the O-line for the Vikings goes up against the Jets' defense. You know, that you know that Jets secondary is itching to go up against Justin Jefferson and company. You also have the Giants and the Commanders. It's going to be a real good one. Taylor Heineke, Saquon Barkley. Going to be fun. Going to be fun game right here. It's, it's again, right now, you know, people are saying, or at least the community tab has said, hey, you know, maybe the NFCs can get four teams in the playoff. Maybe they can't. We'll find out. This, this, one's, this one's a sleeper, sleeper type game. You know, I don't think... Most of the country is getting this game. I know I'm not getting this game where I'm at. Um, I mean, I'm going to be focusing on Jets, Vikings, and of course the Cowboys game, you know. And they put Tennessee, Philadelphia over here where I'm at. And speaking of Tennessee, Philadelphia, A.J. Brown, back in his old stomping grounds, you know. Or rather, he's going up against his old team, you know. It's going to be Ryan Tannehill's show to run. For the Titans yet again. Jalen Hurts on the other hand. What will the Titans do to stop him? We'll find out. Of course you know the Titans. The biggest thing for them. All they need is Derrick Henry. If we get Derrick Henry in this game going off. We got a good one. <sighs> Meanwhile the Seahawks. You know they've sputtered a little bit. The last few games. You know they were. You know, Geno Smith and company haven't been able to, you know, do too much the last few games. Uh, and the Rams, the Rams are just absolutely terrible. You know, no Aaron Donald, you know. We'll see what some other guys can do to step up. John Wolford's going to have to start because Matthew Stafford is out. And it's, it's just not going to be a fun time for the Rams, you know. Forget about that Christmas Day game, by the way, too. Oh, my goodness. Don't turn that game on, either. Like, the Rams, just just not not even going anywhere this year. Um, the Dolphins are pretty injured on the offensive side of the football. You know, at least on the old line. But, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens because again, you know, 
I don't think that will, f will affect too much of what happens. You know, especially with the 49ers play, the way they've been playing, you know, on offense, Debo, Christian McCaffrey, I mean, and then you have, on the other side, the flip side, you have the Dolphins offense, Tariq Hill, Jalen Waddle, Tua, you know. So, I mean, it's going to be one hell of a game. Again, I don't know why this game didn't get flexed. It should have been flexed. It, definitely one of the better games of the weekend. Even with the injuries on the Dolphins O-line. Bengals Chiefs is going to be good. Joe Burrow versus Patrick Mahomes, you know. A rematch of a AFC Championship game, you know, that was thrilling all the way to the end. Mm. We'll see um, Joe Mixon and Jamar Chase maybe come back. And, you know... I mean, this this may or may not be the last time the Chiefs lose this year. Honestly, you know, uh, they, they there's really you know, I, I really don't like watching the Chiefs. It's kind of like how I feel about the Patriots. You know, when they were dominating back in the day, you know, I just didn't want to watch the Patriots unless they played, you know, somebody really really good. And this one's gonna be a really really good game, you know. There's also Raiders Chargers. Well, Josh Jacobs is now leading the league in rushing. And it's going to be interesting to see if the Chargers can stop him. And meanwhile, you know, the Chargers you know, are asking Justin Herbert to do a lot. And the pieces are not there. But we'll see if the Chargers can get something done. You know, the pieces haven't been there for most of the season. In fact, Herbert's been dealing, you know, with things most of the year, honestly. Like, there was that rib injury, and I don't know how it affected him in the week, in the few weeks after he got hurt with, with that, you know. And they're just asking him to do a lot. So there's, there's just a lot that Justin Herbert is going to do. And, you know... Chargers offense has to get it going. Um, they're they're getting left behind in the playoff discussion, and they gotta pick it up. <sighs> Meanwhile, again, I don't know why this game is in prime time. I really shouldn't have to wait all day to see the Colts just just limp themselves out here against Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. I really don't want to see this. Uh, I really don't want to see it's this late. I don't I don't care. We we need to start flexing games. You know. When, when it's obvious that a game should be flexed like this one, I don't care if it's the Cowboys or not. Please, please flex. I don't want, I don't, I didn't even want this game to be in prime time. Please give me more noon games, please, for the Dallas Cowboys. Please give me more noon games for the Dallas Cowboys. Man, I did the Bucks Saints again. This one is going to be a game where the Saints. Have Tom Brady's number? Or do they have Tom Brady's number again? I don't know. And I mean, this game right here. I mean, somebody's gonna have to take the NFC South, and it could be the Buccaneers. So you know, the way I see it is, is if Tom Brady can you know overcome his demons of the Saints in the regular season, then it'll be all right. But if not, then Expect the Saints to do something again with this game. Again, the NFC South is a complete farce right now, so it's it's not even funny at this point. So there we go. Um, I'm gonna upload this real quick and get out, get out your hair and let y'all enjoy y'all NFL Sunday. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow night. As far as the NFL is concerned, we got we got some other stuff to talk about later.